Several students in northern France had a worrying email on their phones on Saturday. They talk about deaths, that we are going to pay a high price. The message was sent by a person presenting themselves as a fighter for the Islamic State group. The person talks about attacks using explosives on Monday against 122 secondary schools in several departments in northern France. I'm afraid to go back to school. We live in a world now where we can no longer be alone. We almost have to be in a group to avoid problems. I am in fact trying to say to myself that this could be false, but I know that something can happen any time. The threats were sent via the school's digital workspace, where teachers, students and parents can exchange information. The perpetrators are said to have taken over certain accounts and then spread their messages on a large scale. Last week, some 50 schools in the Paris region were targeted by a similar attack. Teachers' unions are concerned. A teacher was murdered in the town of Arras last October. The perpetrator was indicted for criminal terrorist association. This is starting to be extremely difficult to manage. The important thing is to begin working seriously. This has been done since the arrest attack. We can't say nothing has been done, but a lot more has to be done. With various governing bodies, we absolutely have to provide answers to colleagues, students and families. Schools will open under tighter security on Monday. The French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal has raised France's security level to its maximum. He vows to track down the people making terrorist threats.